Today we're diving into a topic that generated some interesting comments on our video, 10 items that belong on your commercial invoices. Whether or not to include an HS number on your commercial invoice. I'm Kari Crane, editor of Shipping Solutions International Trade Blog Passages. I'll explain some situations where you may want to leave the HS number off your invoice. But before I get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our basics of exporting videos. Correctly applied, HS numbers can help ensure your exports make it through customs without delay and get delivered to their final destinations, which can help you get paid faster. So when would you not want to include an HS number on your commercial invoice? We've come up with two reasons. Reason number one, your importer asks you to use a 10-digit code. The first six digits of the HS code are standardized internationally, but the remaining digits are country-specific. So the 10-digit HS number you use for U.S. export purposes probably differs from the 10-digit number that your importer needs in their country. For example, if I export parts for umbrellas, they might be identified by this HS number in the U.S. But in Germany, the correct number ends in four zeros. If I use the U.S. number on the commercial invoice, the German importer's paperwork could be rejected. Using Shipping Solutions product classification software, I can map the U.S. HS number against the HS database for any other country, like Germany, to get the correct code. This tool takes the headaches out of what can be a confusing, time-consuming process to find the correct code in another country. Reason number two, your importer asks you to use a code you're unsure of. Sometimes finding the correct HS number isn't easy and there may be some disagreement between you and your customer about the correct classification. Your customer might have a valid reason for wanting you to use a different code, or they might want you to use a different HS number simply to get a lower duty rate. If you know or believe an HS number is incorrect and use it anyway, you're committing fraud. Not including an HS number on your export invoice can help avoid this conflict, but you still need to provide a 10-digit Schedule B or HTS code for your products to file through the automated export system. If a third party, like your freight forwarder, is filing, ensure you give them the correct information on your shipper's letter of instruction. If you can think of any other situation when exporters shouldn't include an HS number on a commercial invoice, share them below in the comments. Using the correct HS number is crucial. The wrong code can lead to incorrect classification, delays, additional costs, investigations, and penalties. I'll share a link below to try our product classification software for free. It's the easiest way to automate what can be a confusing process. And if you want to learn more about what information you need to include on all your export documents, download our free guide, The Beginner's Guide to Export Forms, linked below. If you liked this video, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more videos sharing real practical advice for exporters. You'll also find hundreds of articles about every aspect of exporting at shippingsolutions.com blog. Look for a link below.